Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Today on the Hermitcraft server is a very special day. It is a day in which we give thanks. In America, we call it Thanksgiving. In Canada, they call it American Thanksgiving. And here on the Hermitcraft server, we call it the day that Concorp is at their parents' house. You know what? They want to come around here and mess with the mass transit on the server. They wouldn't want to make life harder for everybody. I say, no. Not today, Concorp. Not on Thanksgiving Day. This episode is being recorded on Thursday, Thanksgiving itself. And you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to remind Concorp to stay in their lane. That guy's not mad at me, right? Okay. Hey, Concorp security. Just wanted to let you know. I have solidarity, man. Solidarity. Yeah. Look at this place. They got people running around with hats on, and, and it's a whole thing. This is what they should be doing. They should be creating a utopia for the people, like these people down here. Instead, they're running around and trashing everything. And I think the best way we can remind them to stay in their lane is going to be by creating a gigantic road cone. I've got plenty of orange terracotta, and I have the support of so many wonderful fans out there that I am incredibly thankful for. I figure between these two things, there is nothing I cannot truly accomplish. Now, we do need to scout out where would be the optimal location for this cone. <gasps> cone Corp! We can deface their sign and make it say Cone Corp. How didn't I think of that? Also, this is the perfect place for the cone. I think we already found it. It's just this, just this right here. This is the perfect place. We'll just cover all that with orange terracotta and make a giant cone. And it should be pretty visible. That is that fountain visible from their gate there? Whoa. Thank you. Wow, that is some lag. Whatever Green and Mumbo are doing, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, no. There are a bunch of pressure plates over there. Let's not go that way. Um, Luckily, lag won't be, ooh, be too much of a concern given that we um, are primarily building this episode. Yeah, if you can see that fountain from here, you would be able to see the cone from here. I was also going to do a bunch of complex math about how uh, wide the cone should be, but the fact that we have a perfect cone-shaped footprint right here. Hello, guard dogs. Woof, woof. Um, yeah, that's right. The fact that we have a perfect cone-shaped footprint right here. I think, I think we're set. I say we get going. Uh oh, I've been told to beware. They wouldn't. They wouldn't demise trap their own fountain. No. No, this has got to be fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here, like this. Whoop! Sorry, pups. Gotta pop you, pup pup. There we go. Okay. Oh, got your tail. Sorry. I'll get you out. Once again, this is nothing against you guys. You, you're your beautiful, sweet puppy children. And, and I'm very fond of you, but Concorp, they gotta learn a lesson here. Or they'll, they'll won't. It'll be a thing. They'll never learn. Um, it seems that it would be easiest to just straight up cover the whole thing. Uh, one layer up, rather than removing any of their actual fountain. Because I, it saves me time. It's, it's, you know, on Thanksgiving we need to appreciate efficiencies where we find them. So... We're going to just go ahead and get this set up like this. Oh, this is this is already coming together. Oops, actually, I didn't want that one there. But we'll just swing by this way. Boom. Whoa. For a second, I thought that box was a spider. I haven't been playing enough Minecraft lately, clearly. <laughs> it wasn't a spider. It was literally the shulker box I brought. And you know what they say, dance with the one you came with. So we're going to just carry that shulker box around and place these blocks we take the blocks out of the box, and then we do some mo. Okay. Yeah, this'll... I might need to shave off some of the stairs here. And I'll have to figure out what to do. Uh, maybe I... I don't want to do it all at this level and remove these, but... Oh, this is going to disable all of their beacons. They'll be like, oh no, what happened to our beaconate? Um, and I'll be like, haha. Wait, were those beacons on when I got here? Did did somebody turn those on? Oh no. Um Okay, Grian and Mumbo shouldn't be here right now. 
because they're in the UK and I'm in America, and those places are traditionally very far away, like a, an entire like ship distance away. So hopefully, whatever is going on here, um, yeah, I might have to. I don't want to move those letters up to spell Cone Corp. I might have to just remove. Maybe maybe this cone won't be even. It's because the thing is, traffic cones get run over by cars all the time. Am I gonna run out of orange terracotta? I might not have enough orange terracotta for this cone. That's like its own whole thing. It's cone whole thing. What if I run out of terracotta and I have to go back and get more? Well, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. So here we go. Time skip. Okay, guys, 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 okay, okay. So, Cub Fan just logged on. It's Thanksgiving. I thought he wouldn't be here. We are halfway through assembling our cone, and, 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 so, you know, I was gonna be thankful. I was gonna talk about what I was thankful for later, and that was gonna be part of the episode, but I wanted to get the cone more finished before I did that. Instead, we gotta frantically be thankful that maybe he hasn't seen us yet and get out of here. We gotta, we gotta talk about like, you know, I'm really thankful that I made a decision to buy an affordable, reliable car 10 years ago instead of a flashy one because, you know, taking care of it has been good for me in the long term and, and helped me, you know, to not have financial struggles. And I'm thankful, you know, that people advise me to stay, to never get a credit card and to stay out of debt, you know, because like once I paid off my educational debt, I was done basically, you know, like, I want to say, like, and, and all these things where it's like people have helped me. Uh, you know, I'm so grateful to so many people in my family for their continued support in so many ways. And, you know, this is not turning into more of a circle, I'm realizing. This is a very rectangular cone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So not only is it not done, but it's not very good. It should be, it should be more circular. Well, whatever. It's going to be a pyramid cone, I guess. Oh, why didn't I realize that earlier? Wait. Is that Cub Fan? Yeah, that's Cub Fan. Let's crouch. Everybody crouch. Maybe if we crouch, he won't see us. If we crouch, he won't see us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's looking. He's looking. Okay. Okay. Well, he he caught us. He caught us. He he found the cone. It did not escape his notice. Okay. What we should probably do is just play dead. Maybe he sees us. <laughs> Dang satellites. Ah, oh, man. I thought we had him, but the eye in the sky. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, well. Busted. Well, even if Cub Fan has seen it, Scar hasn't seen it yet. And you know what? Scar could always use a little bit of extra joy and happiness in his life. So we're going to we're gonna carry on. You know what? Scar and Cub don't live in the same house. So just because Cub has seen it doesn't mean it's spoiled for Scar. I'm... I've come this far, guys. We we can't we can't build two thirds of a cone and just abandon it. We've we've got to keep going. We got to keep going. Also, I'm realizing I need to actually I will need to bring it in some as we get toward the top, or it absolutely won't um it won't work. Like it's it's not radial enough as it is, and we need to improve that. Wow, it's actually extra bad on that side. That is undesirable. So, yeah, we're going to bring that over like this and then kind of go up here. Alrighty. And so let's go ahead and keep this going. Time skip. We have made some terrific progress. I've chugged an invisibility potion, so Cub Fan hasn't maybe... He can't exactly track my exact motions. I did see him messing around over here by my storage earlier. So I wanted to start recording again before I retrieved any of that stuff. Because this all could be pressure plate trapped or comparator trapped. 
This box would be hard to do that with because it's not against the wall. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that one against the wall. We're going to put the diamonds and the trident and anything we care about deeply in there. going to chug a potion of regeneration. We're going to eat some bread. Now we're going to try and take out some orange terracotta. Let's actually um, go ahead and put all of these back in the ender chest. Just because now that I know Cub Fan knows I'm here, like I just don't, I don't feel safe. Why do I even have gold nuggets in here? Okay. We did it. We made it through the struggle of getting more t orange terracotta. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I hope you guys uh, are having a good Thanksgiving weekend. I hope y'all are spending some time telling the people that you are thankful to that you are thankful for them because, you know, um, obviously this is a holiday about not starving to some degree. And we've gotten better at that. Um, you know, most people in the United States now are, are more food secure than they were, you know, hundreds of years ago. Um, but we still need each other, and we need each other a lot and often, and, um, it's a good, good time of year to remind the folks around you that you don't take them for granted, you know? It looks like we're about to close up this traffic cone, but as we did, or as we do, I wanted to say especially thanks to you, the viewers, for being, uh, part of this artistic experience this year with me. Y'all are incredibly, incredibly supportive. You leave so many kind messages, things like that. It it really does make a big difference for me, personally, seeing all the kind words from y'all. And obviously the folks who support uh, the stream financially and the uh, YouTube uh, through Patreon and things like that, definitely appreciate that as well. Uh, because keeping the lights on is one of those things that uh, kids tend to appreciate. And I'm doing my best to be a good dad. So... Y'all y'all make that a little bit easier by giving me a artistic outlet for my creativity that doesn't require me necessarily leaving the house all the time. Um, so, let's see. I think uh, we got this pretty well done here. I'm a little bit worried about Latin. We need to... Whoops. We'll, we'll need to go ahead and add some lights kind of throughout at different levels here. But and, Oh, and we need to do our signage as well. That's, that's not going to be something we want to forget. Dear Concorps, the dead should not trap the living. It is a violation of natural and supernatural law. Please stay in your lane. Love, at Joe Hills. There we go. Now, of course, I spelled living the way the Romans would, where you count to uh, 57 first, but that, that's good. That's perfect. We did it. Everything about this is perfect. We have enough light. Yeah, the, the lights aren't exactly even everywhere, but uh, let's actually fix that. That That is going to annoy me. Whoops. If I die fixing these lights, because if Cub somehow managed to trap these lights, I will be so disappointed. Okay. Great. Let's see if we can... Is it safe to be up here? If they trap this diamond block thing, that would be very Concorp. But yeah, check that out. That is looking pretty classy, everybody. That is one traffic cone that really sends a message. We have done it. That's right, Cub fan. Sweet dreams. Stay in your lane. Now, y'all might have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. And that is thanks to $50 a month Patreon sponsor Kathleen Heath. In lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now read a poem of my own devising. Once I'm done moving... Yeah, that's that's not a very good cone, but I accept it. This poem is entitled, Going Viral. I want to go viral in all the worst ways. Impossibly unalive. Unzipping you until you're all about me. Everyone is all about me and mine and what we made, which was mine to start with. Because you can never make anything that isn't me. Until you're replaced. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee.
keep adventuring.